Alrighty, welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and this is my 100% walkthrough for Kona. But here on part nine, we are starting the game again. We're doing our second run for just one achievement, and that is for completing the game without using any vehicles. Of course, you do start the game in a vehicle. Uh, once we park the game at the garage and we need to get fuel for it, that is the point from that from then on that we can't use any more vehicles. Now, this particular part of the walkthrough, I'm going to take you through the whole uh, the whole game again, showing you each step that I take to get this achievement. We're gonna get through the game as quickly as I can. We have to activate the four visions in order to get through to the end game. So we're gonna do that as quickly as we can. Uh, I'm gonna cut out any story stuff. I'm gonna cut uh, the driving sections right at the start of the game uh, because they are all scripted and they'll take you to the, the same place that you end up seeing in the video. Uh, but any walking and things that we do, I will leave in the video as per a few requests and I find it's been um, a little bit easier to follow when I do walkthroughs that way. So I hope you like that. If you do, stay tuned. Let's do this. And we're gonna start by choosing a new save file, guys. Okay, and the first time you get control of your character, you'll be here at the watchtower. Head over to the trash can, grab the empty bottle. We need that for the caribou later on. And then head up the uh, watchtower. And we need the bolt cutter thingamajigs uh, that are up here. In the chest here. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative Grab agenda, that. We don't worry about anything else. Colonizing the rural north, which helped to reestablish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there. All right. The red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. Head over to the lock and Hamilton break never that. mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to We're come. not leaving any money this time. And Hamilton back in the car and off we go. Store. And I'll meet you guys where we take control at the general store. Business. And sorry, I did just say uh, the... Uh, general store, but I forgot about the crash here. So we're back in control after we've crashed our car. Head over to this car here. It was open up the boot and grab a first aid kit. Open the front door. Come on, open door. Grab the lock box here. Small locked box engraved with the letters and a picture out of here. Carl thought about taking it. Okay, we do need that. So make sure you get the picture and the lockbox. And then head back past our car. Down to the right, down here. Grab one log from here. It's not in Carl's nature. It would take more than head inside to interrupt his investigation. Okay. Gonna start a fire once we get the fire starters and the matches off the counter here. Start the fire. Also, you want to use the med kit. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin sting. And then you want to grab the chains and head back to your car. Okay, this time we're going to put, pop the chains on and we're going to get driving again and I will meet you at the general store this time. All right, here we go. We are at the general store. As soon as you get out of the car, just head inside. Carl had no trouble recognizing it. We want to grab the document he had been behind killed. the body there. There's no need to be a detective to figure that out. So make sure you grab that. A detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. Head that behind the, the counter. Had been given before the victim even realized. Open the cash register. Just any two numbers, and then sale. 
Grab the key. Move the uh, ladder. Grab the med kit. And also climb the ladder for the uh, bottle of sherry. Up we go. Come on, mate. Out of boy. And grab that. Head back down. And we're going to get the third drawer. We want tape and a garage key. So make sure you take the tape. May as well grab the matches. So the third drawer and the fifth drawer. Okay, so the duct tape and the garage key. Head to the back door. Before we go out though, we're going to set this to the generator and then put this to garage only. So turn off the mains or the store and turn on. Oh, hang on. Sorry, that was already on. Turn. Make sure the garage is on. All right. Head into the garage. Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? All right, and grab the pliers. Which drawer was it? I thought it was that one. Okay, third drawer. Okay, anyway, grab the pliers and head outside and we're going to turn the generator on. Got to fix it first, then turn it on. I knew that. And back in the garage, we're going to operate the lift and get the crowbar, guys. Operate here. Grab the crowbar. At long last, the crowbar was that away. within Carl's grasp. At long last, eh? <laughs> at some point. All right. Back to the store. Okay. Leave that on there. We're going to turn garage power off and store power on. And from here, make sure you turn around and grab these three fire starters as well. Going to use them for uh, doing a few little saves and keeping us warm a little bit later. How did that shut? And we, okay, and that's on. And that is so that we can turn on pump two, guys. Uh, we do have to still fill up the car, even though we're not going to be using it just to continue the story. So turn that on. Head outside. Open door. Thank you. Before we go over to the car, though, uh, interact with here. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Both drawers. You have to do the top one first, so the that will fall weapon. down. Grab the murder weapon what was that doing there? and the key. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. All right, don't worry about it. All right, as soon as you can, turn around and fill up the car. Everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. And now we have to go and get our first vision, he guys. Had to find help. Find a way to contact authorities. He had to search the village. Head over to the fence line. And to the gap in the fence. And then follow these tracks past the ice here. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets. And he didn't like it. You can see another bit of ice here. And here is the first oh, ice man. What the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. All of a sudden, Carl felt like he was pulled inside. All right, follow the tracks. A cold, unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. I think you interact here. Just got to get through the, the vision, guys. You don't have to worry about anything else. Better yet. Follow these tracks. Interact here. And interact with that. What could these engraved numbers mean? 
A fresh path suddenly appeared. Yeah, follow the tracks again. And keep following. We want to get to the car over here. And I believe you just got to pick up the the wallet on the front seat here to end the vision. Carl had that feeling you get when you immerse your frozen hands in hot water. What happened? Now at least he knew who the unfortunate man okay, now, was. Okay, now, from here guys, we are on foot. Here's the fun part. So we're going to head north, we're going to take the left fork in the road, and we're going to head all the way over to the west. Um, I believe it's called Bloven House uh, from our first playthrough. It is the little loop on the south um, right on the northwest of that sort of lake there. So that's where we're headed. I'll uh, show you the map again once we get there, but we're going to run all that way. No vehicles. And of course, our buddy runs out of puff very easily. Okay, but head out of the uh, general store, take the left at this fork here. Now, after you go across this bridge, there's going to be the uh, the doctor's place on the left. We're going to skip that for now. Something I men mentioned uh, in the uh, previous videos about making the caribou, I did discover in practicing this run that we only need the sherry and the empty bottle. So apologies uh, if I made anyone worry about grabbing a beer bottle, but anyway, we've got the empty bottle that we got from the trash can, so there's the doctor's place as well. Uh, yeah, so we've got the empty bottle we got from the trash can at the first watchtower, and we um, got the sherry from the general store, and that's all we need along with the, uh, the the distillery or whatever it's called. And that's where we're headed right now. Carl okay. wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. You'll be right, mate. There should be a uh, property on the right. Did we just pass that? No, not yet, not yet. The one with the big wooden structure there, that's it. That's the rose hair place. There's a reason why we're doing this. As you can see, we're, we're quite cold, but we'll be okay. Not much further. Okay, I can 
Almost see it now. I'm going to take a left here. Okay, when you get here, head inside. Okay, head straight inside. You're going to be getting pretty cold by now, the guys. Look more like a pigsty than a house. A We're going to make the caribou milk, here. Cheap alcohol and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Turn around, grab a log next to the stove, and use it to make a fire. And stand here until you are fully warmed up. Oh, and I did say I would show you guys where we are on the map. So there we are at the Bloven House. I call it the Patriot's House or whatever it is. That's where we are. Now, we do want to go up to the north there and get the warm coat. But before we do, we're going to head all the way down to the left and get out uh, down to the south. Sorry, we're going to turn left and go south and get our next vision. So let's do that first. So leave here. Head back up to the main road. And at this rock little thing, we're going to turn left. Now, are there tracks that we could use to do this a bit quicker? Yes, there probably are. Um, but I want this to be easy to follow, guys. I want you guys to know where we are and where we're going. So I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. While I am trying to get this done as quickly as we can, uh, because we all want that achievement and get to move on to the next game, I just want it to be easy to follow. And we're not technically on a speed run challenge. We just need to beat the game. very close now. You can see the fence. And we have to uh, cut the lock on the gate. I've seen some questions about whether or not the snowmobile counts. Yes, it definitely counts. It is a vehicle. Would be nice if we could get on the snowmobile here, but no, we cannot. All right, we're heading straight to the garage for this vision. Here we go. What was that? You head back over this way. Ba boom. Oh, our guy's getting a bit cold. Okay, and just watch this bit. And that should be the end of the vision once we interact with the door here. 
something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to All right. hide it. As soon as the vision's oh, over, we uh, need to hurry. Just check how cold you are here. See, we've still got more than half, but we're going to head back the way we came. And this time, we're going to go get the Find warm it. coat. He still hadn't found any of yeah, You don't want to hang around in the cold too much. So when we see the uh, property on the right that we went to last time, we're going to go straight past that. And this time we are going to go uh, to the Ro Rosaire or Rosaire place. And you're going to see the entrance to that on our left um, with the big wooden entrance. So you'll know it when you see it. It was so cold, already Carl didn't Ooh. move his toes anymore. Just check again, that's that's the halfway reminder. And that's okay, because we don't have much further to go once we get to this property. Well, not heaps anyway. can't work out whether jumping really helps too much. I'm not sure. I feel like it um, makes him run out of puff a lot quicker. We'll see though. Well, we probably won't see. I'll probably never know, but we'll just get through the game anyway. Nearly there. <laughs> okay, I can see the fence and there's the wooden entrance that I was talking about. And you want to get inside as quickly as you can here, guys. The uh, entrance is on the right hand side of the building. You can see our vision's getting slightly blurred. In we go, in we go. The cold was burning Carl. He would not hold up much longer. He had to right. warm himself. We will. Let me in. There we go, we're starting to warm up already. Je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt et puis bang 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 si ça s'approche. As soon as you can we talk to this guy. Si tu veux du linge chaud parce que tu es habillé comme un gars de la ville, je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Puis tu pigeras ce que tu voudras parmi nous. And then we give him the caribou. Ah, oh, quand on cherche on trouve. Parce que je t'aime bien à cette heure, je vais te dire quelque chose. Tu fais bien. And when he hands the coat. Come on, let me grab it. There we go, grab the coat. And once we've done that, guys, make sure you grab this key here. 
That's for it. this fella's shed outside, which is uh, straight across here. Okay, straight inside. Grab this lantern and this axe. An axe, not too shabby. Carl Phil and I'm just going to show you on the map where we are, and also where we're going quickly now. We are headed for the ice cave, which is off to our west, and then a little bit south, um, just north of the Bloven property, actually, the uh, Patriot's house. That's where we're headed next for the third ice vision, or third vision. Um, I usually call them ice men. But um, is what mattered most. hopefully that tells you guys what we're doing. We need to do the four visions so that we can progress the story. And we're already uh, about to go and do the third. So, And you'll notice with the uh, coat on, we're going to get cold a lot slower as well. But you actually need the coat before you can go and do this vision as well. And if I get a little bit lost here, guys, I, in all my practice runs, I did this, uh, did go to this cave from a different direction, uh, did things in a little bit of a different order. But uh, having done the practice run, and this is the reason I do it, is to try and uh, work out a better order to do things in, so that when I show you guys in the recordings, um, it's a little bit more streamlined. Once again, I am not claiming this is the fastest way to do this. It's just the way that I have uh, figured out and the way that works for me. And it's also a way that I feel like I can show you guys and it will be easy for you to follow along, hopefully. Now, I do think it's sort of as we get near this bend that we just went around, we need to start thinking of heading north in here. So I'm gonna do that here. And once we get in a bit, I might check the map if I need to. Okay, so there's the campsite. When you find this campsite, you've got to head a, a fair distance west still. Well, not too far. Okay, so we're at the campsite. We need to head up that way. Carl, ever diligent. Oh, wrong button. Always carry might just go close enough to it to get it to... Oh, wolves. We don't want wolves. During the course of its investigation. That is not part of the plan. I'm hoping they didn't follow me. But yeah, if you go, if you find that campsite, head west and look for the rocks. Okay, that wasn't too bad. All right, you should be able to follow these rocks to the cave entrance, I reckon. Although I can't see them properly. The ones on our right here. Keep going. Maybe not. This will be it. This will be it. Here we go. The icy cavern. We found it. Don't worry about the wolves. And quickly just show you exactly where it is on the map again. There we go. Let's head inside. Luckily, he had the coat to protect him from the biting cold. The cold seemed to be more brutal here than anywhere else. It seeped into... Yeah, get the torch out at the fork. Get to the we need to go left. Carl needed to be dressed in warm clothes to survive. Now, we need to find the hammer that I had trouble with in the first playthrough. There it is. Maybe it was because we didn't need the hammer. It doesn't show up so easily. Uh, get the torch back out. And now I need the hardware. Just gonna check what's in here. Fire starter. May as well grab those. All right, and continue on. Don't think we have a log, do we? No. Don't worry about that wolf. All right, we got the hammer and the hardware so that we could build this bridge here. All right, across we go. And on to number three. I 
approach the uh, ice man to start the vision. Another instance of this magic ice. What was this one doing? Lying on the ground, so afraid. The plot thickened like water into ice. All right, follow the footprints. He had been running in fear from something creeping towards him, against which he couldn't do anything, only to end up like this, petrified and cold. All right, keep following. Turn this on. And watch this. And then interact with this. It seemed as though Rejean had been ready to take up arms and right, put that away. Hamilton. Could he have committed murder? I'm going to take that hardware there. In front of his That's more in case I need it later. Uh, just make sure you grab that. Actually, I've just got to. I've got to double check my notes, but we may as well take it for now. Uh, and I'll take the duct tape as well. I'm also going to grab a log. And I'm going to light this fire to get a save. Alright, and then I might start carrying a spare log with us, just in case. Give me that. Let me grab the log. There we go. And I also... I want to stand back up, and I want to grab the rifle. And both boxes of ammunition here. Alright, now we're going to drop this uh, beam back down, or plank, or whatever it is. torch back out, head down this way, turn around and go back here, across the bridge. Carl suddenly felt observed. He was worried about a presence around him. Don't worry about him. Hey, leave me alone. Don't think I need to worry about him. I don't remember worrying about him. I'm going to go place the dynamite. Here we go. Do that. Watch out. Here we go. If that guy is still annoying us, let's just get out the hatchet. I suppose you could shoot it, actually. Let's do that. Where are you, pup? There we go. Take care of him. The explosion. And out we go. No stone can withstand the force of dynamite. All right, quickly open up the map. We are now gonna go to the doctor's clinic. So we're gonna go back to the main road and head all the way to the east. And you can see the little doctor symbol there. We're gonna go there quickly to do a story uh, element of the game. Let's go. We do have to push the ladder down. Hop down. Just gotta look for the main road. I'll be out near that fence. Is there a fence over here? Here we go. Here's the road. Turn left and head east. Don't mind me just having a, uh, a sip.
It's a fair way to go here, guys. Okay, so past the Rosaire place, that's it on our left. So it'll be the next property on our right. And you'll see a uh, clinic sign on the left as well. There's the sign. All right, head up here. Is this the one with the yeah the key? We need the key on the here. Country is not that big of a deal. Carl knew a key had to be hidden nearby. Uh, yeah, it's normally under the mat, or is it in this? There should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. Where's the key? It's not behind the logs, is it? A log and a fire starter. We're going to grab those anyway. Finding a locked door in the country is not that big of a deal. Carl knew a key had to be hit. Ah, it's the one that's in the letterbox. My bad. There we go. I didn't make lo uh, notes on that because I was supposed to remember. Anyway, go inside. The place didn't look much like a. Grab the medical files. Read through those. Mistaken for a sewing shop. You need to get to this final one. The there William Hamilton. I do believe you have to get Hamilton to that. Knew each other and I do think that looking at this photo counts as well. Doctor, flanked by his beautiful spouse. Pure happy it's the same photo that was in the car at the start of the game. Anyway. I'll recognize this Ooh, before we leave though, make sure you light the stove. Well, you don't really have to, but we've got a bit of a trek ahead of us. So we want as much warmth as we can and we get a save. And I'm going to show you on the map exactly what we're doing and where we're going. Okay, so there we are at the doctor's clinic. We're gonna head west, back past the general store. We're gonna turn right when we get to the main road and uh, back down past the general store to the south and we're gonna to go to the La Chance, or however you wanna say that, residence for the fourth vision, the ice man vision or ice woman vision. All right, let's go. So just going to get to the main road as quickly as we can. Everything was important. The decor itself told a story. All right. Take a right back across the bridge. We're almost back to the uh, general store.
Now, you could have gone and done this one earlier in the game. Uh, I just found it better to go and do all that and uh, be back here with the uh, the uh, warm coat guys. So that's why we didn't go back and do this one earlier. Although it would have been possible. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets. And he didn't like to miss out. So back down the road here, it's going to be the first property on the left. But it's a bit of a hike on foot. I hope you're starting to see why we did two playthroughs if you've been following the whole walkthrough, guys. I did not want to be doing all of this on foot and getting all the collectibles and everything as well. Now, I did see someone in the comments said they, uh, they got everything in two hours. <laughs> I call bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit. Yeah, I don't think so, mate. Um, it uh, takes long enough just to get everything, uh, get this done uh, without getting the collectibles. Alright, here's the property on the left. You can see the letterbox. Turn in and uh, head up these stairs. This is the one with the uh, the key at the mat, I believe. Going to grab a log. No, nope, no mat, no mat needed. All right, approach the ice right down to the and get the vision. Carl felt a cool, tingling sensation in his back. Another vision took over him. In here first. Something was hidden under the stairs. And then up the stairs, I think. Yep. The man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread in him. And down the stairs. Oh, yeah, you can watch that. And then out here, little argument. Perhaps their spousal relationship had been cooling down lately. And then into here. It seemed like secrecy was commonplace in this house. And interact with that. The vision's veil was lifted, and he was back to reality. But Giselle, Jill's loving spouse. And now, guys, we are on the home, oops, home stretch. All right, I'm gonna light this fire. And from here, we are going to the ice wall, to the Wendigo, and on to the end of the game. I'm just gonna show everybody where we are on the map. We're gonna go back to the main road. We're gonna head north all the way until we get to the ice wall and continue from there. Let's do it. It's uh, dark outside now. Turn right. And uh, we'll go back past the general store. Home stretch, I call it. Although we have a trek to get there. At the time of this recording, guys, I'm not sure on my next game, although by the time you hear this, I will have started my next guide. Uh, this stage, it's either going to be Gato Roboto, which has just hit Game Pass, or it's going to be Deliver Us the Moon, 
which at the time of this recording, it hits Game Pass today. Um, I have started some research on Gato Roboto, and I do believe I could make a decent guide for that. I don't know enough about Deliver Us the Moon yet, uh, whether it needs a guide, whether I'd be, uh, be suitable to do one of my types of guides. Um, but if you want to uh, help me decide these sorts of things in the future, make sure you join my Discord server. It's free. It's a place where people keep in touch. Uh, I've got a lot of achievement hunters building a community there, um, but it's also where I keep you guys up to date. I do votes on what games I'm going to play on my stream or what games I'm going to be doing guides on. So yeah, make sure you go and head over to the Discord server if you haven't already. And he didn't like to miss out. Okay, I did decide to uh, keep all the walking in, guys. This is the one bit where I was like, I probably should have, I don't know, sped the video up, but I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you think again, guys. Um, I have had some opinions that they want me to just leave everything in. So for now, that's what I'm sticking to. I would love to know what you think if you're uh, sitting here listening to this now. All right, here we are at the uh, the crashed car, so we need to turn right and head to the ice wall. Carl knew why he was suddenly shivering. Carl was only beginning to understand the horror which had struck his village. He under Okay guys, I cut that cut scene out, but as soon as it's done, just head forward. The road was clear for him. He needed to push further north and fast to find help. And as you approach this fire, I'm not sure exactly what triggers it. But you've got to either pick up this or this. A crossbow bolt like that one would definitely cut short an evening by the. Don't have to photograph it, but then you can head through here. Carl had found what he was looking for. There we go. He needed to get yeah, if you try and head down this path without picking up the document or touching the arrow, I'm not sure which, if both or one of them lets you go past, but if you try and do it without touching either, the game won't let you come down here. Okay guys, and this is actually future Aussie talking for a second right here. I'm cutting this into the video after the fact because I forgot to go up this tower. Make sure you go up the tower and grab the med kit and the fire starters up here. Very important for something we're doing a little bit later. Um, you'll hear me talking about not having enough med kits a little bit later in the video. Um, so just make sure you come up here, grab the med kit from this box and the fire starter, 
uh, and then we're going to head back down and I'll uh, cut the original video back in. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. try and just avoid this guy for now if you want to just get your gun out and shoot it I guess pretty sure it'll come back but we're just gonna follow the path oh maybe I won't maybe I'll oh hang on hang on all right that's it hey come here Now I'm going to need to use my med kit, aren't I? Alright, use your med kit and keep going. Yeah, that was some terrible shooting there. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. Uh, you'll be right, Carl. You'll be right. This is why we grabbed that hardware where the dynamite was. There is another way across, but anyway, continue on. If you have been uh, following along guys now, we want to go right here. Past this cabin, don't worry too much about that. Stick to this path down here. There will be another path on our right somewhere that we want to ignore. We're going to get to the last fireplace, and we, if you've been following along, you should have. Yeah, don't worry about that. Hang on. Get rid of this guy. Oh, come off it. Ignore that first path on the right and head down this path here. And we're going to get a fireplace down here. Scratches did not stop Carl. His mother would be so proud. Yeah, you'll be right, Carl. You'll be right. Oh, we're getting, uh... We're getting a bit cold. He would not hold up much longer. All right, hang on. Get rid of him. And here is the campsite. Start the fire. All right, warm back up. Don't move until you're nice and warm. Okay, guys, now, if you've uh, stuffed up at all like me with those last few wolves, you've only got, you've only got about half health left, which is what I've got. Cleaning I'm going to show you on the map nature. where we are while I do this. Uh, but we're on the uh, final trail up to the Wendigo. Uh, it is easy, well, not easy, it is definitely possible to pass the uh, Wendigo section without losing any health or getting hit by those wolves, um, or at least not losing too much. Uh, but we've got a save there, and it does do an auto save at the uh, cutscene. So even if it has, even if it takes you a couple of goes, don't worry too much. All right, straight up here. Two more victims of this ice play. We don't need anything oh, there. A chill down his spine. What if he was next? Carl felt the strong pull of a vision overcome him. Carl understood the ins and outs of the affair.
All right, so as soon as you gain control here, guys, just head over to this crossbow bolt. And when you can, interact with it. The one responsible had already and we're going to get a little head start here. Could not quench his thirst for vengeance. As soon as we gain control, we're going to turn and run. Okay, guys. Pulled the bolt from the beast's heart. A beast who was but a young free man lost without his fiance, and who had, out of hatred, oh, all right, turn and run. Goal. And what you're going to do is get out the rifle. And hopefully, when the uh, wolves spawn in, you're gonna have a quick shot at them. Now, I'm no pro gamer, guys. I'm not very good at this sort of stuff in games. I'm an achievement hunter, see? Told you I'm no good. Missed him. Anyway. If you can hit a couple, it'll uh, it'll help you speed up a little bit because the wolves won't be slowing you down. And it does also seem to slow down the Wendigo when you kill the wolves. I'm not going to turn around to show you though. Oh, got him. I'm always shocked when I get him. But that's why we went and got the uh, med kit at the top of that tower. Oops. Oh boy. Don't worry about these ones. There's too many and we don't have enough bullets. Alright, now I'm under half health. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it. If it drops any more, we're going to use the med kit. I just don't want to use it too early. All right, line this. Hey, that wasn't fair. All right, all right, I'm going to use the med kit. All right, and then off we go. Not sure I've got any more bullets left. We'll uh, we'll try it on this guy, but I don't know if it's going to work. Yep, one bullet. Okay, good. The wolves behind me still got me though. get to this little opening. I don't think I've got any bullets. No, I don't. I'm gonna put, oops, wrong button. I'm going to put that away and head down this way. So definitely could have done that a lot better, guys, if we didn't miss so many wolves. Oh, I'm getting hit from behind now. Uh-oh. All right, hopefully we're safe once we get to the cemetery. Oh, no, there's still a wolf behind me. Run, run, dude. I didn't think they followed me through here. There's another one. Shows my memory. All right. Once you get to here, though, you're safe. I'm sure of it. Yeah, so do as I say, not as I do there, guys. If you make a few extra shots... You'll be fine. But yeah, like I said, it is it is a bit tricky, but it's a good checkpoint. You'll make it eventually. Carl felt his strength slipping away. His enemies no. were slowly killing him. He did not have much longer. He's all right. Through the gate and to the boat and we're done, guys. He's after us again. And there we go. Onto the boat, and that is it. Achievement should pop any minute. And I want to take the opportunity, though, to thank you guys. There it is. There it is. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I have a, had a great time on this series. A lot of awesome comments. A lot of people have uh, liked the walkthrough. And I really appreciate all the comments, guys. Um, 
yeah, I just wanted to say that. I really, really want to uh, say a big thank you. I do mean it, guys. It's not just something I say at the end of every video, even though I do say it at the end of every video. I really appreciate it all, guys. It's uh, helping me uh, make more and more guides like this. Another thing that would help me make more guides like this is the support I get over on Patreon, guys. Please check the link in the video description. Head over to Patreon where you can become a member of the Aussie Army on Patreon for just $1, guys. And it really, really helps me out a lot. Uh, so, yeah, appreciate it all. Hope you got all the achievements. Let me know in the comments down below. Really love hearing from you guys. There's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.